Hey guys, my name is Polygon Donut, and my current gaming mouse is getting kinda old, so it's about time I buy a new one. But there's so many different mouses out there, it's overwhelming the amount of choices you have. But then, I started to notice a few oddities. Turns out a design as simple as the mouse can be stretched in many different ways. So over the course of the last 40 years or so, some really freaking weird mouses have been made. So today I decided to buy a bunch of the weirdest mouses on the internet and I'll be reviewing them throughout this video in order to find a proper replacement for this bad boy. But wait a second, what even is a computer mouse? While they were originally invented in the 60s, computer mouses actually started becoming commonplace in the 80s. Nowadays, mouses have two buttons and a scroll wheel, but back then it was as simple as a rectangle with a singular button. Wait a second. Oh, I gotta say it, man! I'm a One of my favorite classic mouse designs is Apple's Puck Mouse from 1998. This thing radiates pure Y2K aesthetic with a transparent tinted plastic, and it's perfectly round and sleek shape. Eventually, we figured out how convenient it is to have two cookies instead of one, but then we thought, why stop there? And we just added another button in the middle. The three button mouse design became very common because many complex business softwares simply needed more buttons for convenience. We also added funny trackballs onto mouses that you can roll around to scroll. Eventually, the funny balls and the middle button were both replaced by the scroll wheel. But instead of stopping there, we also experimented with theming. Who even wants a boring gray piece of plastic anyways? An early example of this is the PC Palace trackball mouse that has funny scribbles all over it. Look at the little goober! <laughs> In my previous Cursed Products videos, I mentioned some Spongebob mouses and Hello Kitty mouses. There's a Spongebob water mouse and a square-shaped mouse that apparently has a spongy soft surface. Whatever that means. I really wanted to get this and try out the spongy soft surface for myself, but it's sadly way too rare to find. In my Hello Kitty video, I mentioned some Sanrio mouses like the star-shaped one for little twin stars and the My Melody mouse where you click the ears. There were also tons of Hello Kitty water mouses and this Hello Kitty head thing. For the first mouse review, I actually got myself a Hello Kitty head thing and the first thing I notice is that it's very small. The left and right sides of the bow are the clickies and the middle is the scroll wheel. This is very cute and seamless from a design standpoint, but oh my god does it feel horrible to actually use. Because of its size, the majority of your hand is on the goddamn table instead of the mouse itself. It's a USB so we can simply plug it in and right away you'll see some blue lights glowing from inside. Most modern mouses use an optical sensor on the bottom that glows red when it's in use. And because of how thin the plastic is, the entire mouse glows when you move it, which is really funny. I tested it out a bit on the cute game Doom Eternal, and it was so freaking uncomfortable to use. Overall, I really like the theming, but I'll give this mouse a solid arthritis out of 10. Moving on to some more funky mouses, let's take a look at the Bunger Mouse! I freaking love the theming of this thing, it's just a goddamn burger! You can immediately tell how old it is, because it still uses the three-button mouse design with no scroll wheel. The one I got is heavily used, so you can see some scratches and the right click gets stuck sometimes. Also, I want to point out that mouses used to use a ball neck mechanism on the bottom instead of the fancy sensors we see today like on the Hello Kitty mouse. It's not really that comfortable to use because, well, it's literally a burger. It uses a serial port so I hooked it up to an adapter and it doesn't work. I kinda expected that because serial ports are really outdated. Overall, I give the funny burger mouse two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven. Speaking of burgers, if you want a full burger themed PC setup, you can plug this thing into a burger USB hub, cover your keyboard and custom burger keycaps, use the burger mousepad cover and the official Burger King headphones. There is also the elusive super tall burger mouse by the Japanese fast food company Lotteria. Only one was made to be given away in 2014 and whoever received it is unknown. I really wish there was a video of someone using it because it's so freaking tall, how does it even work? Lotteria also did another tall burger item giveaway but this time two tall burger USB sticks? Why do these even exist? Also I'm really confused about how realistic these look, I wonder what they're even made of. Of. Weirdly enough, this isn't even the end of official fast food computer products. KFC also held a giveaway in Japan for a fried chicken mouse, a KFC keyboard, a massive fried chicken USB, and an equally massive fried chicken phone case. The fact that these actually exist somewhere is insane to me. The keyboard has a full-on Colonel Sanders statue and a differently shaped piece of chicken for every key. I really wish these were actually mass-produced because they're really cool collector's items. It's a shame they were only for a single giveaway. Moving on to some other food things themed mouses, there's also the beer bottle mouse called the Boozy Bottle. It has a custom brand on it called Double Click Brew and looks very unconventional to use. As far as I can tell, these two spots are where the clickies are. There's also the Tasty Cake Mouse, officially branded from the Tasty Cake Company who was known for making many dessert items. They themed this mouse after the Butterscotch Cream Bits. This thing looks so funny, it's just a tall wavy rectangle. You can also have some candy with your dessert, so let's check out the funny M&M mouses. First up is this yellow one. The box comes with a funny mouse, a mouse pad, 
iPad and a freaking floppy disk that apparently has an M&M screensaver on it. I'm sorry, but there's legit no way for me to put this thing in my PC. Hell no, we got the M&M save file icon. I actually found a video of the screensaver, so here it is. There's a few different screens of the M&Ms just falling, and then there's this one of them dropping into liquid chocolate. Also, the mouse pad looks like he wants something from me. Moving on to the mouse itself, it's got a very seamless design and a kind of ergonomic shape. The eyes are the clickies, minus points for no scroll wheel, and he's got a goofy all facial expression. Also, the mouse is really tall for some reason. The box for this one comes with some cool art of the M&Ms just kind of hanging out. Also, it says it's supposed to come with a real pack of M&Ms, but whoever sold this to me on eBay freaking eaten them all. I also got a yellow one, which also didn't come with any M&Ms. Wait a second. No way, I found them! Why does the design for this mouse look so oddly suggestive? I don't know, man. M&M's marketing has always been freaking weird. The hands themselves are the clickies, and sadly, there's no scroll wheel. Because of all the 3D details and the overall flat shape, this thing is terrible to actually use. All of them use a PS2 port, so I hooked them up to an adapter and tested them out on some Ultra Kill. I also replaced the game textures with M&M's to get in the mood. Turns out, playing an FPS game with these weirdly shaped mouses was way worse than I expected. I'll give them like a 6 out of 10. The the last food themed mouse I found is the officially branded Nescafe coffee bean mouse. Well, kind of food shaped if you consider coffee beans a tasty snack. Here's some insanely uncomfortable looking Lego mouses I found that come in red, white, or blue. These weren't officially branded by Lego and were discontinued a long time ago, but the real question is whether or not you were able to stack a bunch of them together. Speaking of rectangular mouses, there's also a few gold bar themed mouses, but if you want real gold, there's the Exovolt gold mouse that actually cost 600 freaking dollars. It has real gold plated over aluminum pieces. Another random mouse I found are the mouse cursor shaped mouses. They don't even really look that bad, not gonna lie. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the pixelated mouse cursor mouse, which looks objectively terrible to use. Speaking of pixel shaped mouses, there's also three pixel art Mario mouses that were only released in Japan in 2007. You can clearly tell the designers put literally zero thought into the usability. The Mario one, you press the two halves of his hat. The star, you press the tiny eye buttons in the middle of the freaking mouse, and the Goomba just has two halves again. How did they think these were a good idea? There's also some Koopa shell mouses that look way too small. Do any of you remember driving around in these weird car things as a kid? Well, this one in particular is called the Cozy Coop, created by the company Little Tykes. And one day in 1999, they released the official Cozy Coop computer mouse. On the back of the box, we can see some other products they made, like this keyboard, a camera, a drawing tablet, and an entire freaking Little Tykes gaming setup. Okay, it's not not actually a gaming setup, it's called the Young Explorer Computer Center, and I think it would be really funny if somebody hooked this up to a 4090 or something. Besides the mouse, the box comes with a Jumpstart Preschool music CD, a product catalog, a manual, and a thing called Junior Net, which I think comes with some games for kids to play. The mouse itself honestly has a really cool and unique design. You've got a little hood over your fingers, two cookies with L plus no scroll wheel, and the back has a license plate that says cool car on it. Even though it's made for kids, it still fits in my hand pretty well, and is honestly kind of comfortable. Overall, I actually really like this thing. I would give it a 10, but no scroll wheel, so 9 out of 10. Besides the little tykes mouse, there's also an entire genre of actual car themed mouses too. It's been a thing for a really long time because the shape of a car just kind of fits in your hand pretty well by default. Over on Amazon, there's a bunch of slightly cartoony looking wireless car mouses. Some look all right, but most of them are just kind of ugly. For some reason, this car has a massive British flag on top. And one of the ads for it says this. There are two blue lights on the front of of the car. They look very beautiful. They do look beautiful! Never feel self-conscious about your two blue lights at the front ever again, my beloved British car mouse! Unboxing my new best friend, first we take the top off, put in some batteries, and then I notice that it kind of looks like a convertible like this, which is really funny. Also, this is the little wireless receiver it comes with. I put the hood back on, and now we can see the beautiful two blue front lights for ourselves! Trying out the ergonomics, it's actually not that bad. It does have a weird shape, but it just kind of fits in your hand. The two sides of the hood are the clickies, and both bonus points for an actual scroll wheel. It was only like 14 bucks on Amazon, it looks quirky, and works as intended. 10 big bends out of 10! There's also some other car mouses that have far more realistic models, and are officially licensed by real car companies. There's the Dodge Viper car mouse, a Camaro, some Mercedes-Benz, a Mustang, Corvettes, Toyotas. The quality of the models on these is honestly really surprising. If you showed me the Dodge Viper with no context, I would think it's just a normal model car. But that's not even the end of car mouses. There's also a bunch of NASCAR 
NASCAR mouse is modeled after real NASCARs, like the Dale Earnhardt ones, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and a Tide Pod NASCAR mouse? Why are there so many of these? And finally, there's the Hot Wheel car mouse modeled after the Camaro Hot Wheel. Speaking of car mouses, why don't we check out the Lightning McQueen mouses? Mater, I need your help. There's one where the clickies are on the hood and one with them on the back. I could only find the one with the clickies on the back and it comes in a pretty cool box, which I will now destroy. <laughs> The first thing I notice is how freaking small it is. It's literally smaller than the Hello Kitty mouse from earlier. I really like the model though. It looks really cool and has lots of nice details. The clickies on the other hand are incredibly low quality. You basically have to push down the plastic of the shell itself for it to register, which means pushing on the sides too hard also clicks, which makes it really finicky to use. The scroll wheel is also really tiny. I give this mouse a Cars 2 out of 10, which is saying a lot. Another Pixar character that got turned into a mouse is Buzz Lightyear. Look at him stare into your soul from beneath the helmet. At first, I had no clue how this was supposed to work, but apparently the entire helmet is a button that can be pushed left or right to click, which is terrible to use. It also just makes it so left and right clicking at the same time is impossible, so no more scoping in on FPS games. The ergonomics are also just completely non-existent, all the while this freaking thing is jutting into your palm. Also, even more minus points because no scroll wheel. Easily the worst mouse we've seen so far, 2 out of 10. And if you thought that was bad, let's take a look at the Winnie the Pooh mouse. Now, when I said the Buzz Lightyear mouse was the most uncomfortable, the Winnie the Pooh mouse is arguably just as bad because, well, what the frick? The left and right clicks are his eyebrows, but the buttons are hidden under his skin, so they're incredibly difficult to press. Combined with the horrible claw grip you're forced into, the extra force required to click is a nightmare. And once again, extra minus points for no scroll wheel. I give this mouse two cursed Winnie the Pooh mugs out of 10. Continuing the trend of kids' characters turned into mouses, there's also a Mickey Mouse Mouse and a Mickey Mouse Glove Mouse. But if you take out the Mickey, you end up with just a Mouse Mouse, which is obviously a thing. It's such an easy joke to make. This one comes with a cheese mouse pad, which is kind of funny. He's so silly! Love him! But this isn't the only animal-themed computer mouse. In the early 2000s, there was an entire brand called Big Eye Mouse that made a bunch of these mouses with huge eyes you click on, and they look really freaking cursed. They've got a cat, fish, ladybug, frog, duck, and a cow. I got the cow one to try out because... Well... <laughs> Unboxing the funny cow, you can see that it comes with a floppy disk for installing drivers, which I don't really need. The first thing I notice is that the eyes are always pointing up, which is really cursed. And if you shake it around, the eyes just start goobing out. This little gizmo is up to some tomfoolery! Because the one I got is used, the left click fully doesn't work, but the right click does, and it's really satisfying to press. The scroll wheel is abnormally loud, and because of its positioning, it's a little weird to use. If mine wasn't broken, this goofy gadget would probably be my favorite mouse so far. It's it's just so funny looking, I love him! So I'll just give him a 10 out of 10. At one point, it became popular to put little containers of water inside mouses. These were known as water mouses. It was a trend for literally any company to make these for promos, where they copy pasted a basic water mouse design, slapped on some colors and a logo, then put an object in the water. There's basically infinite water mouses out there because every single goddamn company did this. eBay, Snapple, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Intel, Honda Power Equipment, Care Bear, Santa himself? One of my favorites is the Tic Tac one, where they just put a bunch of little Tic Tacs floating around. There's also the Spongebob and Hello Kitty ones from earlier. The Crayola water mouse is pretty cool. But then there's just this one with an eyeball in it? Apparently this one is actually from an eye surgery company. And I don't think putting a human eyeball inside a mouse is a good way to advertise eye surgery. I've never used one of these before, and the only one I could find online was this one from the Popsicle company. That has funny little popsicles floating around inside. There's not much to review about this thing. It's just just a normal mouse. It's got a good color scheme, some cool water theming, and a perfectly normal and comfortable shape. I would give it another 10 out of 10, but it's kind of lame that it's just popsicle branded. There isn't some crazy eye-catching theming like the other 10s, so I'll just give it a 9 or something. But before we move on, I'm just gonna play with it for a bit. Also, I wanted to see what happens when you shake it, so here you go.
It's pretty mesmerizing to watch the bubble settle down after shaking it. Actually moving on now, there was a line of Marvel mouses where they turned a bunch of characters' helmets into wireless mouses. They've got some Iron Mans, Black Panthers, Star-Lord, whoever this is, I don't really care. But my favorite one is the Groot Mouse. Why does this scoundrel look so wise and mystical? This is definitely one of my favorite mouse designs I've ever seen, but I couldn't find one that would ship in time for the video. There's just something so unsettling about the facial expression. Bro looks like he got a side quest for me for real. Jokes aside, the attention to detail on the wood theming is actually really well done, and even the ergonomics seem pretty good too. Even though I don't have one to try out, I'll still give this thing 10 wise mystical trees out of 10. They also made a baby Groot version, which is objectively worse. He has 97 mental illnesses and is banned from most public spaces. Star Wars also made a few character helmet mouses, but they're much older than the wireless Marvel ones. There's Darth Vader, C-3PO, a Stormtrooper, and a young Anakin Skywalker. They look really uncomfortable to use because they didn't adjust the helmet shape at all for ergonomics. I got a Stormtrooper one to try out, and the back of the box advertises some other Star Wars items like some mouse pads, a wrist rest, and a CD case. I tried using it for a bit, and I don't really know what to say about this thing. It's just weird. Like, it's not bad, but it's not good either. I'll give it like a 6 out of 10. By the way, recently Razer reskinned one of their mouses with Stormtrooper theming, which is kinda cool, and I found this meme about it. Bro, my aim is so bad! The mouse they are using. Another weird genre of mouses are the telephone mouses, where for some reason they just combined a phone and a mouse? Please tell me who the freak is out there being like, it's so annoying to take my hand off of my mouse to pick up the phone! It's such an oddly specific problem they're trying to solve here that doesn't really exist. Also, some of them just place the buttons right where your hand is already resting, which seems pretty counterintuitive. They usually get around this with a sliding mechanism or the flip phone style. A different way to solve this non-existent problem is with the telephone mouse pad. Instead of just setting down the phone right next to the mouse pad, you just had to buy a specific product with the buttons on the mouse pad itself. There's also calculator mouse pads because another pressing issue we all deal with is not being able to just place a calculator on the desk and we just desperately need it to be combined into the mouse pad itself. And you already know they thought this was far too convenient and just combine the calculator into the mouse itself and place the goddamn buttons right on top where your hand rests. Oh my god. Okay, finally, let's just check out some sports themed mouses. Like the basketball mouse that comes with a basketball court mouse pad and the soccer mouse with the soccer field mouse pad. There's also this surfboard mouse that has a really interesting design, but my favorite sports mouse is the golf ball mouse. It comes with a putting green mouse pad and some funny little goobers to play with. The golf ball mouse has a pretty simple design, and the other goobers were a freaking nightmare to unbox. I could not for the life of me get the mini golf balls out of the packaging. I ended up having to fully cut up the plastic. There's a golf club, a flag to put on the mouse pad, and some balls. I tried to play some mini mini golf with them, and it was interesting, I guess? The pieces are so incredibly tiny, and it doesn't come with anywhere to put them, so I guarantee anybody who bought this just loses them. The mouse itself is kinda lame. The plastic feels so cheap, I feel like it would explode if you gripped it too hard. I set up a funny little golf course, and I kid you not, I got a freaking hole in one. I'll give this like a birdie out of 10, I don't know. Well, that's all the weird computer mouses I have for today. There's probably tons of custom made or just weirdly shaped mouses you've seen before that I didn't show in this video, and that's because I thought it was much more interesting to focus on the more branded ones. My heart will always be with the wise mystical Groot mouse, but I'd say my favorite one in terms of usability is definitely the popsicle mouse, but my favorite one theming wise is probably the cozy coop. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and for all the support recently. We pretty much just hit 200k subscribers, which is insane. I know videos have been taking a little longer to make, but that's because I'm putting much more effort into them. So if you want to support me, make sure to like and subscribe and maybe even join the channel or something. I don't know, it's only like two doubloons a month. Also comment down below your favorite funny computer mouse and maybe some suggestions for more cursed products videos I should do in the future. Okay, bye!